Yo, it's your boy Logos, and I made it pretty clear how I feel about game violence in previous videos. It's a waste of time, it's a waste of your life, and wasting your freedom. If you're not getting anything out of it, you can't pass anything to your children. Compared to special forces and military guys, the skill and proficiency is not even close. Easy to look hard and like a killer around civilians or other people that can't shoot back because they can't aim like you can't. Compared to military guys, Navy SEALs, etc., etc., it's not even close. And there are stories of this type of stuff happening special forces and gangs clashing together, and it didn't end well for the gang. But I want to talk about this video in particular because of the language that's being spoken. Of course, when you have a dumbass idea and dumbass mindset, when you glorify the street lifestyle, it's hard. I'm sorry, it's just hard for me to imagine. You're a very smart person. If you ask me, when we're having serious conversations about gang violence, societal or political values, or the ramifications of it, using slang like also on the square, or saying you're keeping it 100, or standing on business, just sounds childish to me. Maybe I'm old. Maybe I'm just... I don't know, got too much ego, whatever the case may be. It just, in my opinion, when we're having serious conversations about serious issues that does affect people's lives, and especially the lives of the community that you claim to that they care about, let's at least sound a little bit more mature. So anybody and everybody can understand what you're saying. The whole point of language and talking, to share ideas, converse. So if you're saying all these different things that May not everybody understand or can even connect the dots with. What's the point? Maybe it's just me. Let's react to this video and see how bad it really is. Excuse me. I don't even like square n calling n squares. I, you don't know if Channing Crowder is a square. In, what is a square? To a, with a, in, a, in a room full of square n All you n squares. What I'm telling you is, how do you know he is square? <laughs> All your n is squares. I, how do you figure that? Yeah. How not? What are you talking about? You lost me. Exp Maybe it's just me, but I think the whole idea of screaming and yelling and getting, I don't know, all hyped and upset over this of all things is pretty fucking stupid and childish. I don't know. It just, it just screams the lack of emotional control, which makes sense. If you can just so callously kill each other and not give a damn, I think it's a good thing. There's a lot of stuff wrong with you. Your emotions, your brain, your upbringing. There's a list. Explain how your what's your definition of square? I, cause I'm a street nigga. I'm okay. from the track. I'm, how you know he not? I can't answer have no, my question. Because you can't have no felonies. You can't catch no charges. To it's play certain football? shit. Yes, yes. It's certain shit you can't even do to be a football player. You know gotta have them there have a certain grade point average to even play college football. All it's, these is squares. It's my go. Listen, I never heard the word square used in a positive way. It's always meant to you to like claim like somebody's lame, not cool, not chill. Just not a good person you want to be around. So him <laughs> saying he's a square because, oh my God, he had to get good grades so he can become a professional athlete and make millions of dollars and be known not to worry about going to prison or getting killed. What a loser. Like seriously, who comes up? Who? Earth these people. Well, sorry, son, that ain't shit either. But come on, man. It just makes no sense. I don't understand how these type of people can exist. This type of lack of logic, it permeates throughout, throughout the whole population. It depends on the issue and what you're talking about. But trust me, I've seen it a lot in person and online. So it's not just a black thing. It's just a dumbass ignorance type of thing. Anybody can be like that. Oh, tell me when you're going to stop screaming. All these niggas. No, because I don't you. like that. How is a square calling the niggas? You don't know. Because you don't like something you're screaming. And it's something like this. Who cares what label somebody gives somebody that you don't even know? You clearly don't know him because you don't know his upbringing or anything about him. Why do you care if he's a square or not in your head? You're not even on his level. You think you're better than him because you're in the gang? 
dumb are you? What's the chances this guy gonna be alive for like 10 years? Unlikely. No, he might be a square, but you don't know if he is or he's not. I do. You don't know that. You don't know. on the podcast all day like the rest of you. He's 40 something years old. <laughs> so is the rest of us in here. Hey, Having a podcast, talking, having a conversation, doing anything that's not directly harming people does not make you a square. You're just living your life, trying to make your own way, but not destroying somebody else's life, at least for the most part. Of course, we have gossip podcasts and certain bullshit you say or put out that's different, but that's still better than being a guy like him in the gang. In the streets. I, I don't get it. Seriously. The guy screaming and crying and doing all this for what? Like a 13 year old. Hmm. But unfortunately, there will be some young kids, maybe not directly looking up to him, but guys like him with his mindset and thinking that's cool. That's what you want to be. That's how it should be. Shoot, look at the rappers, most of them that's in the industry, that's popular. That, but you know, people will make excuses for it and say, oh, that's different or whatever, but it's really not. Really not. I highly doubt the guys that do similar stuff like him, similar lifestyle or upbringing, that still defends it and preaches it and says it's a good thing, has more emotional control, more intelligence or anything else. And he does. Because if they did, they wouldn't be a part of that stuff. They wouldn't defend it. That's how I feel about it. I'm not going to defend killers, thieves, none of that bullshit. Y'all care more about defending the, I don't know, the criminal than the actual victims, which is yourselves, the community. The community is a victim of people like him, through his actions and his dumbass words. But people defend it. It's our culture. Like, fuck you. You're an enemy to the culture just like him. Because you're an enabler. An excuse maker. And people will die because of dumbasses like him and dumbasses like you that defend him. And until it's your family or somebody really close to you that you love and care about or some that you love or like is affected by someone like him, then you'll give a shit. And that may be only temporarily because... You like the music or you like the look or you like the lifestyle. You like the aura, whatever the fuck, whatever excuse. Either way, it's all stupid. And that's how I see it. Let me know what you think in the comments. It's your boy Logos and I'll see you next time.